Hi guys, welcome back to more Palmer from the Ashes on the Force Nights YouTube channel, continuing the Palmer series of Football Manager 2016. And today we are going to finish the uh, main part of the first season in Serie D, Group D. Uh, as you can see, we are top of the league, four points clear ahead of uh, Virtus, who we face on the final day. So, yeah, we are looking in the driving seat at the moment. Today, we're playing the final three games of the season. We've got Metzalara at home, and then we have two away games against Ravenna and against Virtus, who are just behind us and are our only challenges for that top spot. Union on the two far behind there, 11 points behind. So, um, yes, uh, basically, we need to win two out of three to guarantee uh, promotion. Only the top spot gets promotion, and then the rest go into some playoff, which I'm not sure if this is actually on this database or not, but we'll see. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm expecting us to get promoted today. Mets Lara at home, we should be winning because they are uh, bottom with only three wins. And we're facing Virtus away, so basically if we win that, then that's it. Because, yeah, they, they can't catch us even if we do win that. So, uh, yeah, uh, off screen, I played five games. We didn't lose, which is a good thing. But we had a couple of draws again. We've, as I said, we've had a lot of silly draws this season. I think we've got one of the highest uh, number of draws so there we go, so we are the third highest in terms of draws. Only t only three teams have more. So uh, last time we had a 2-1 win against Bellaria and a goalless draw against Union. So off screen, first of all we had a 2-0 win against Claudiense. Penalty taken by Zekin and scored early on in the third minute. And the Lucas Capuzzi with his first goal for the club, of course he's a loan signing from uh, Como. And he, he got a goal. Uh, yeah, very comfortable performance here. Um, set, uh, 21 shots, 7 shots on target, more possession. Claudiense had a few few shots on goal, but um, couldn't get them actually in. Uh, an assist for Karapi. Uh, yeah, a goal for um, Zekin and, and Skabuzzi. Defended fairly well. Not too bad. So I'm happy with that one. Then we had a 0-0 draw against San Marino. Of course, we wanted a bit of revenge on them because they beat us 4-0 at home earlier in the season. And this ends in a goalless draw. San Marino had more shots and more possession. They were definitely in control. But um, no goals for either teams here. Now, I did say that I wanted revenge, and hence we had one, two, three, four yellow cards. Uh, and three out of four of our defenders got booked. So, probably a bit risky there, because we could have had a, ma a sending off, which we've only had one, I think, this season. But yeah, we defended well in this game, but going forward wasn't great. Um, Sereni didn't play very well. Capuzzi, uh, fairly quiet. But yeah, a 0 0 draw there. Uh, then we drew 1 1 with a Forley, who are. Uh, not far behind us. I think they were in third at the time. I think they've dropped a bit further back now. Uh, we did take the lead in this one. Botta with uh, only his second goal. He's been fantastic, but he hasn't scored many. But he got a goal here. But a fully equalised almost immediately. Uh, Personne with uh, their goal. Fairly even game, I think. I think a draw is a fair result there. We didn't defend very well. We can try the midfield, but we, we'll be giving it away quite a bit. So that's what happened there. Their goalkeeper as well was excellent. Morelli made a number of saves. So... Uh, yeah, I think it draws a fair result there. 2-0 uh, win against uh, Imolesi. Um, nice, easy win, really. Uh, Melandri with both goals for us. Um, one in the first half and one uh, not long after the uh, restart. Officially 36 seconds after kickoff. Uh, Imolesi went under 10 men as well. Not long after our first goal, Landy got sent off and they were played almost an hour with uh, 10 men. But again, we controlled them in field. Didn't have as much of the ball, but you know we had more shots on target. So, yeah, a uh, pretty even game, but I think the man disadvantage really went in our favour, and that's why we won 2-0. Uh, then we had a 4-2 win against Rebel. This was a bit of a nervy one, really. 4-2. I mean, they came they came back a couple of times. Uh, we did go 2-0 up, though. Karapi with uh, two quick goals. Actually, he got his hat-trick today, Karapi. 11th minute and the 17th minute. Uh, and then we actually made it 3-0 as well. Botta scored uh, again to make it 3-0. Uh, Rebel did go back. Get one back in the second half. Graziani, not long after Bottas' goal, made it 3-1. And immediately after that, we scored again. Karapi with his third complete his hat-trick. Made it 4-1. Lamberti brought it back to 4-2 in the 73rd minute. And I was getting a bit nervy. You know, they could make it 4-3. It could be 4-4. But fortunately, that's how it ended. Karapi with a 9.5 with his three goals. Alborno with an assist. Um, and an assist each for Zeki and Melandri as well. Nice win here. 4-2. Just a bit concerned about conceding too. We also have another signing. I brought in a uh, free transfer on the very final day of the free transfer deadline. Not going to use him because he's shit, but I literally just panicked 
and tried to get a, pl- a, right, a right back. And the guy we got is Marco Pedereva. And yeah, he's rubbish. <laughs> Literally, like, I, I just went for... Like his his ability was not that it was not one and one and a half stars, so um, yeah he's only on a non contract. So unless we desperately desperately need him because we only have one other right back, which is Aguay, who hasn't actually been very good recently. He's averaging over seven, but for the past few games is a uh, yeah he, he's not being as good. I mean he, he's not a bad player. I mean look at his abilities now, but yeah I think some of these players are definitely definitely going to have to go because. They're obviously not up to scratch for when we get to the next league. Because I'm, I'm getting promotion today. Let's go into the first game then. Now, they've got a lob formation of Metzalara, a 4-1-3-1-1. Okay, this is what we're going to go with today. Stoyanovic, uh, in goal. Uh, Kocicelli is okay, but I wanted the more, the better guy in goal, really. Uh, Abono, Saporetti, Lucarelli and Agoe, the back four. Our first choice back four. Even though Saporetti is really a left back, he's been okay all season, really. He's done pretty well. Uh, midfield of Botta and Milieta. Molinara playing in the cam role as an attacking midfielder. Zekin and Karabi on either side of him as wingers. And Melandri up front uh, as an advanced forward. Bench of Cotticelli, Rodriguez, Sereni, Misetti, Simic, Rivas, Scapuzzi, Kolietko and Barai. Only injury at the moment is uh, Gaston Puchacho who hasn't played a lot. Uh, he's got a lower back stress fracture. He's out for a few weeks. But um, we haven't been playing him at all. So... He'll be on the way out soon, I expect. Right, uh, pick up where you left off, absolutely. Let's start the match. So, I've got the table in the top right-hand corner, so you can keep an eye on Virtus. In fact, actually, let's find the latest scores. Let's get them up as well. There we go. So, Virtus are away against Fortis Juventus. They beat us, of course. So, let's hope they can do the same to Virtus, because if we win and they lose... Then with one promotion. So we just need them to lose one game really. And it might be the one against us. Okay there hasn't been a single highlight in this first half. We've had seven shots. Two of which were on target. But half time nothing has happened. Literally we haven't had a single highlight. And the other game with Virtus, with Virtus is still nil nil. Come on guys let's see some action. We're about an hour in. And there's literally not been a single highlight. Uh, Fortis is losing. Fortis are winning. So if we can win this game then that will be it. As long as they still... I was going to that score stays the same. We can win this and that will be it. I'm making a change up front because literally nothing has happened. We are 17 minutes in and there has not been a single highlight in this game. Not one. Oh my god, okay. We actually have a highlight with five seconds left. So it's going to be full time here. Right, here we go. So have a look down the bottom and see if you can see any highlights down there. You know, it's usually where you get the lighter blue. Literally not one. Not a single highlight. That is <laughs> pathetic. Well, there's a good thing we're doing three live comms today, because if, if that were the only one, then this would be a very short video. Um, so join me very shortly. Hopefully we'll see some goals in the next game. We're against Ravenna, away from home. Ravenna in the league are in ninth, so we'll see how we do against them. Now, we're still four points clear, so Virtus must have got a draw in the end. Yes, it was a 1-1 draw, so they did get uh, equalised not long after, actually. So it was only four minutes after they scored. So... As far as I'm concerned, it's still level pegging. There's four points gap, six points to play for. So, we win, that's it. Okay, two changes to uh, the previous game uh, in terms of the squad. Kuliakko in for Saporetti and Sereni in for Molinaro. That's the only two changes. Uh, Kuliakko's not doing too good in terms of fitness, but we'll leave him on there. Uh, yeah, that's it really. Uh, on counter structure, because we're, we're away from home. Going to go over higher tempo, going to close down a bit more, going to retain possession. So I'm going to passionately say, come on lads, the title will be ours if we manage a win. Okay. Uh, I did a team um, team meeting off screen and said that we're one win away from the title, but treat this match like any other. Didn't really work out. Only four players had improved morale, and I think about 12, maybe more than that, had it decreased and the rest stayed the same. So not the best team meeting really, but let's see if we can win this match. Just a win, and then we get... Uh, promotion and we win. Simple as that. And uh, Virtus are at home against Bellaria, so we'll keep an eye on them as well. Because if they lose, then that's it as well. Even if we lose, uh, they've got a Zamboni in their team. <laughs> Zekim keeps it in play there. Sereni and it's uh, produced a save from uh, Iglio. Sereni in for Molinaro because he hasn't really done a lot in recent games. 
giving Sereni a chance in these last couple of games. Zekin with a free kick, but uh, Ravenna on the counter-attack here. Devekis to Atsuri. Rigini, Innocenti, and Devekis shoots wide. At least we're seeing some highlights in this game. Well, that's half-time, so literally one highlight, and that's it. Team tools aren't working at the moment. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing. Okay. Right, let's see some football, please. We're having a bit more of the ball. Sh Shots-wise, it's fairly even. They have had a chance, though, but they put that wide. Well, Milieta corner here. It's headed away by uh, Balladini, I think his name was. Milieta gets the ball back here. It's come to Botta. Uh, Botta shoots, and it's saved. We've got a corner ball. Taken by Milieta. In it goes. Headed out by Antoniacci. Sereni now. To Aguayi. And that's the end of that. Koliakko struggling. Zekin not doing too well. Sereni. Zekin. Botta. Karapi. Back to Botta. Sereni. We are threatening here. Can we do it? Sereni. Out to Aguayi. Find Sereni again. Milieta. Botta, Sereni, there we go, that's a goal, 1-0, Virtus are also winning, but it says, as I say, if we win this game, that's it, we have won, and my eyes start running, my nose has started running, I've got a cold coming, I can feel it, fantastic, right, Kolyakko's struggling, so we need to make some, uh, I'm going to make, right, I need to make a couple of changes, because we need to play our under 18, so, uh, right, I'm going strikerless, it's not the same as going cakeless, we're going to bring on Molinaro there. And we're going to put on uh, Saporetti. Actually, no, we're going to put on Simic for Koliakko. Can we do that? Yes, we can. Stanovic with a goal kick. Headed away by Zamboni. Simic on the ball now. Here's Zekin. He's uh, giving it away. Here's Sirace. And Simic will chase that down and win it back. Long ball to Molinaro. Now to Milieta. To Aguayi. To, back to Milinetta. Karapi. He's... Well, he's won it back. Good resilience there. Sereni's there. Trying to add to his score today. Aguayi puts that out of play. Okay. We've still got more of the ball. We're having more shots. But Ravenna are trying to get it forward. Right. Milieta's struggling. I'm going to take him off and bring on... Walter Rodriguez. Okay, we are less than 10 minutes away from the title. Come on, guys. We're nearly there. There's only a minute left, so I'm leaving him on there. 10 seconds left. Petrascu. Balladini to Ambrogetti. That's it. Full time. We have won the league. And for some reason, the players don't seem very happy about it. Enjoy your success. You deserve it. Absolutely. These are the moments we're living for. Okay, that's all right. Good team talk. But we've won the league. We have done it. We are getting promoted to the LEGO Pro on the first time of asking, which is what I said we wanted to do. And it's what the board wanted us to do. So that's all fantastic. Palmer clinch. Serie D, Girone D title. Palmer wins Serie D. Uh, Molinaro is out for 9 to 12 days. So he, he will miss our final game. That's not the end of the world. Board set initial budgets for next season. We actually have a transfer budget of 7 million. Okay, and the wage budget of 88,000. So that's fantastic. We've got some money in. It's fantastic. 7.3 million after having absolutely nothing last at the start of the season. Botter impresses. He was man of the match, got an assist. Good stuff. We've done it. So uh, I will do the last game. It's a bit of a foregone conclusion. We know that we've won. So it's against Virtus, who are four points behind us. They can't win. We, we we have won. They can't go any further. So this is a bit of a dead rubber. So I am going to play. I'm not going to play like a stupid formation, but I'm going to play some players that I don't really play. Stuff like that. So yeah, I'll join you very shortly. We'll play the last game, and then next episode uh, we'll be going for the Serie D Scudetto. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. I'll see uh, what the fixtures are like. Okay, this is the final game of the season, and since we've already won promotion, I've decided to give some games. To some people that we haven't really seen a lot of this season. Uh, apart from a few like Benassi. Uh, sorry, I'm going to sneeze. I've definitely got a cold coming on. So, yes. So, some guys are going to get some games. Uh, apart from Benassi who's leaving because he's not happy. And, uh, yeah, he's all unwanted and all that. Uh, and Batachi who's injured. And uh, Molinaro who's not fit because he's just come back from injury. So, 
uh, team today, Kocicelli in goal. Uh, you know, he's been okay. He's been the 18-year-old. Uh, Serenovic has been good as well. So I'm going to give the youngster a go here. Saporetti at left back. Haven't seen him there. He's been playing as a centre back for most of the season. Koliakko and Simic, the uh, centre back pairing. We haven't seen Simic a lot. He's only played two games off the bench. This is his first start. Pedereva, I said he's rubbish. We're going to give him a start to see what he can do. Rodriguez and Botta in centre midfield because we only have three. Millet has been brilliant. Just offered him a new contract actually, so we'll see if he accepts that. Juan Antonio is playing in a central attacking midfield as a playmaker. Uh, now, he wants to leave. He's okay, but I just haven't really used cams. And when I have, Molinaro and Sereni have been better. Uh, Scabuzzi playing up front again. We haven't really seen a lot of him. Uh, six appearances, three starts, three substitute appearances. Barai playing on the left. He's been here and there all season. He's got seven goals this season. He's playing. And Rivas is playing on the right-hand side. Only had a couple of starts. And he's okay. He's done all right. So we're going to see what he's made of here. On the bench, you know, the guys that wouldn't really get into the team. Uh, I looked at our under 20s and under 18s. There's none really there that I want to play that aren't really good enough. So we'll see what these guys are made of. We're on a good run, so keep it up. Yeah, we'll say that. Let's start the match. Hopefully, uh, this won't be, you know, embarrassing or anything like that. But it doesn't matter. We've won the league already. We can get rid of that now. So this is just a formality, really. There's a the first highlight of the game here. 16 minutes in, and it's... Uh, Virtus that are on the ball. Here's Cortesi. Still on the ball. We well we tried to win it back, but we haven't. Spadafora. Cortesi. Pedriva puts it out of play. It's a corner ball. Sacenti will take the corner. Headed away by Rodriguez, but Budriesi reclaims it. Girelli down by the corner flag. Gets a cross in. Cortesi. And it goes across the face of goal and over the face of goal. Okay, half time. It's been pretty boring so far. Uh if we, we can still win this, keep working hard and it will come. I'm not going to make any subs. We're going to leave these guys out here and see what they can do. Okay, Scabuzzi up front isn't doing it for me. So we're going to play Melandry. Uh, and yeah, see what, what that will change. If that will change anything. Here you go. This is the first time I've seen us on the ball. So we could get a goal here. 76 minutes in. Juan Antonio to Rivas. And he's lost the ball there. Uh, not very good. Stradi to Angelino. Vernia, back to Stradi, and Simic will chase that down, he holds on to it, but he's lost it there, now that's a mistake, he's given it away in our half by the corner flag, and Virtus have taken the lead, we are still, we will still win the league, it will just be a one point gap, but that's a bad mistake by Stefan Simic, he's on loan from Inter, uh, sorry AC Milan, wrong one, this has proved to me that some of these... Oh, two now. There we go. This has proved to me that these guys aren't good enough for us. So, a lot of these will be going, I think. Here we go. Almost full time. It's a 2 0 defeat, but it doesn't matter. We've won the league. It's not that important. He's still got it. But full time. There it is. It doesn't matter. We've won the league, so that's not important. Uh, you are unlucky today. Okay. So, that's it, really. Uh, well, we've got the Serie, Serie D Scudetto coming up. We'll see what that entails first. Okay, so Serie D Paul Scudetto first phase group stage groups drawn. That's a lot of words. That's very confusing. So in our group is Aversa Normana, who are in Group I, who have been relegated from the Liga Pro, and they well they had okay. They haven't lost a match since November. Uh, before that, they did actually lose quite a few, and they lost all of their friendlies. That's not very good. Uh, also in our group, from Group C, Venezia. So that could be interesting. Also relegated from Lega Pro. How have they been doing this season? One, two, three. Four. Okay, so they they they've been pretty good, and uh, they also they were runners up in the Coppa Italia Serie D. Torres won it. Torres Torres won something. Wow. So that's how that works out. So what are the rest of the groups? So you've got Gozano and Viareggio and Vita Bersi. And we've got Campobasso, Monza and Rosso Blu Potenza. So uh, only two games, I believe. Uh, in fact, let's just have a look at our fixture list. Okay, so we've got Venezia at home and then we've got Nomana away. So uh, we just need to win the group and that will get us into the semi-final. Or we can qualify as the best runners-up. 
uh, and that will get us through to the semi-finals. So next time, I'm going to play those two games in a double live com, and then we'll see if we can get through to the semi-finals. It's that simple, nothing to play off screen. In fact, I'll probably record this on the same day, almost immediately after, as long as my cold doesn't get worse, because obviously there's one coming. I've been sneezing and sniffing and all sorts. So we'll see. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Um, we have uh, one promotion to the League of Pro, but we could now actually win ourselves a trophy in the form of the Serie D Skeletto. Let's see if we can do that next time. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Four likes on the video, and that would make me very happy. In fact, one would make me happy. Uh, leave any comments down there as well. If you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.